This has been a very simple project in terms of what it can do, but you've also learned a huge amount about Swift, Xcode, and storyboards. I know it's not easy, but trust me, you've made it this far, so you're through the hardest part. To give you an idea of how far you've come, here are just some of the things we've covered so far. Table views and image views, app bundles, file manager, typecasting, view controllers, storyboards, outlets, auto layout, UI image, and more. Yes, that's a huge amount. And to be brutally honest, the chances are you'll forget half of it. But that's okay, because we all learn through repetition. And as you continue to follow the rest of this series, you'll be using all these and more again and again, until you know them like the back of your hand. Now, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. So I've prepared a short review to help you check your learning. Look for the link for that on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once you're done there, it's time for your challenge. This has the beginnings of a useful app, but if you really want your new knowledge to sink in, you need to start writing some new code yourself without following the tutorial or having an answer you can just look up online. So each time you complete a project, I'll be setting you a challenge to modify it somehow. Yes, this will take some work, but there is no learning without struggle. All the challenges are completely within your grasp based on what you've learned so far. First, use Interface Builder to select the text label inside your table view cell and adjust its size to something larger. Experiment and see what looks good to you. Second, in your main table view, show the image names in sorted order. So nssl0033.jpg comes before nssl0034.jpg. And third, rather than show image names in the detailed title bar, show picture X of Y, where Y is the total number of images in the array, and X is the selected picture's position in the array. Make sure you count from one rather than zero.